But see, my beef with the party, Josh, is that it's turned into a Republican libertarian mush because of this. These Republicans come in and they use it as a revolving door for the libertarian party. There's no libertarian brand anymore. Nobody knows what libertarianism stands for because it's a mush. Uh, you know, health savings accounts, school vouchers, regulatory reform. I mean, it, but it applies not just to the party, but to the movement too. This is where the hybrids and the conservatives have done a lot of damage to our brand. And what I wanted to run was a pure, bold libertarian campaign. So when I went after Joe, we felt the force moving toward her, this pragmatist force. And it was, but it was too late. We had to show where we differentiated ourselves from her. Uh, again, we went after her. I went after her on issues, her support for Social Security, trying to save Social Security, uh, even with her language of opt out. She was saying, oh, we're going to sell assets and we're going to help out the elderly. And that to me is not the way to run a race. I, I think you got to run a race going after the welfare state directly or her, her position on the national security state. I, I never heard her call for the abolition of it. All I heard her say was, I'm going to bring home the troops and make this a Fortress America sort of thing. And, uh, I believe it was so the, uh, Sweden, armed and neutral. Yeah, yeah, Switzerland. That thing. That, or Switzerland, yeah. yeah, armed and neutral. Yeah. That was her big thing uh, through her right, entire which, campaign. Right, which to me was a garrison state. You bring all the troops home, you don't discharge them, you keep them right there, this huge military force inside America. Well, I say go after these people directly. You know, uh, the Kennedy assassination, I would have said, man, there was that regime change. I mean, how can you not criticize in a campaign what the national security establishment did to a sitting president of the United States? I mean, I think in order to do well, and I said this throughout the thing, I said, if you want to do well, you got to roll the dice. You got to run a bold campaign.